Welcome back, Golly Vibes family. I pray everybody is well. You're not going to believe the story I came across today. You're not going to believe it, ladies and gentlemen. Have you ever seen this airline before? I have. You know why? Because I rode it. I, I flew on this airline before. A couple years ago, 2019 to be exact. Um, I got a round trip ticket. And I said I'd never fly on it again. Why? Because I was harassed because of my bag, which actually fit in the little thing. But I was harassed and it made me pay more for it, even though it fit into the little section. You know, the sections where they say your bag has to fit in this thing. It fit. But I still had to pay more. Now, why is that? Well, they're getting down to it. They're getting down to the nitty gritty. Even Frontier Airlines. Now, I've heard, I never had that problem on Frontier Airlines. However, I did write this. Uh, uh, when I was when I got flew to California, um, they got me a Frontier Airlines ticket. And it was cool going there. But coming back, the delay after delay after delay. I was supposed to get home the next morning. I got home a day and a half later. <laughs> I had to take like four flights just to get home. What's wrong with the, what's wrong with them? What's wrong with these airlines? You're not going to believe what I'm about to show you. You're not going to believe it. Airlines like Spirit and Frontier pay their gate agents 26 million to harass customers whose bags are too big. You think this is a joke. You think it's a game. You think oh, somebody's just writing that. Well, think again. Watch this. Which of you paid people to pull out customers who are in line with a bag that's two centimeters too big, Mr. Schroeder. Well, we recognize this is a hard job, um, and so therefore we incentivize them to do that. How much? Uh, it's $10 per bag. Wow. Wow. $10 per bag. And I think, Mr. Klein, you and Mr. Schroeder, your, your airlines cumulatively have spent $26 million paying gate agents between 2022 and 2023 to catch passengers whose bags are a little bit too big. $26 million. I mean, if people want to know why it's such a terrible experience to fly, this is news for them today. Your airlines are paying millions of dollars to your employees to harass people who've already paid. They're there in line because they've already paid. It's unbelievable. Wow. By the way, let me just ask you this while I have you here. Why is it that you charge different people different fees for carry-on bags? Why is that, Mr. Klein? Why, why, is it, wow. why isn't it just a flat fee? Why is it that, that I might get charged one fee, but uh, my wife might get charged a different fee? Why is Listen that? Listen to this answer. So overall, our job is to generate uh, the most revenue we can so we can be profitable as an airline. If we're not, if we're not profitable money. as an well. Actually, we have, we have costs, and there's costs out there, and we have to make sure that we're above the cost line in order uh -huh. to make sure that we can run a profitable entity. Yeah, and be able I got to it. Grow. No, I got it. It's, I got it. And Money's the answer. So your, 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 in last year, your carry-on bag fees ranged between $15 and $99. Hmm. That, that's extraordinary. One person might pay $15. Somebody else might pay Ninety-nine. How how do you joke. determine it? Is it based on joke. personal characteristics? It's you never women it, more. It's never based on personal characteristics. You charge up minors more. We we do not, sir. What? It's just a, people who are suckers? I mean, how do you how do you how do you do it? Well, there 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 is a cost to carry a, any any kind of bag. Yeah, but so why do you of, charge some people? Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. If you've been wondering why it's been such a hard time flying through Spirit or Frontier, and here's the crazy part, right? They'll make they'll, they'll it'll look like the flight's cheaper, but actually it costs pretty much the same as other flights if you're bringing a bag. Because once you get there, they harass you for your bag. Then you got to pay extra for your bag. Sometimes it costs more than other flights. This is why I usually fly United. Nine times out of ten, I'm United. Nine times out of ten, I flew Spirit once. I flew Frontier twice. But nine times out of ten, all the other times I flew, United. And, you know, I, I, I just, I've never had a problem, really, with United that I can think of. Some other people may have, but I haven't. So that's, you know, that's my choice. But I have had a problem with Spirit the first time I flew. And then the first time I flew with Frontier, I had a problem with them. I, like, I 
know some of you guys are watching this like, wow, that's what they're doing? $10 a bag to get you out of line and harass you on your bag if it's a centimeter too big. And you wonder, why are they taking their job so seriously? They're getting paid a bag. You know what I'd be doing if I was in the world and I heard, yo, it's $10 a bag, commission. I'd be like, yo, bag, 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 bag. $100 on top of my check that day. I'm getting 10 people. They're probably going back in the lunchroom talking about how many people they got, how much money they've made. Oh, I got five. I got 50 today. Oh, yeah, I got eight. I got 80 today. You got 80 today? Yeah. You see the you see the older lady with the little pink bag, you know, with the little golden retreat? Yeah, I got that one. Man, I was looking at her. Yeah, yeah, I got her. I got her. You think this type of stuff doesn't happen in the back room? Oh, almost definitely. I assure you. These are the type of talks <laughs> that go on. These are, these are, listen, they get you where you got to go if you're willing to go through all the hassle. They get you where you got to go. But they're terrible airlines compared to other airlines. Terrible airlines. Paying $10 a bag. They've, they've spent $26 million dollars. Paying their gate agents <laughs> to take people who have a little, a, a tiny bit of a difference when it comes to their bag being small enough or too big. Get them out of line, harass them, tell them they got to pay more. That's, that's, that's crazy if you ask me. That's crazy if you ask me. You might as well buy another ticket for another flight or another airline. They may look cheaper. They even got great deals with Frontier, I believe. I know somebody who paid like five hundred dollars, and now they only have to pay like twenty five bucks every every round trip. Now that's that's a great deal. That's a great deal. Until you go in there with your bag, and they tell you, "Hey, you got to pay a hundred and some dollars extra." A hundred and something dollars extra. I could have just got you. I could have just got a regular ticket. So. More of the story is, ladies and gentlemen, be careful with, with, with how you fly, where you fly, because they're out to get you. They're out to get you. It's a cold world out here. Put on your jackets. Put on your sweaters. Put on your scarves. Put on your gloves. Hallelujah. I definitely want to show you guys that because a lot of people are blinded by different things that are happening. They don't see different board meetings. They don't see different council meetings. Um... So I definitely, you know, I, I feel led to show you guys different things like this. Hey, man, let me know if you, if you guys enjoyed the video. Comment your uh, take on it. I love you guys. God bless. Shalom.